Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below the video. And uh, yeah, you can also follow me on social media, Facebook. I'm most active on there. All the links will be below there. All right, Virgo. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, let's try to get some good news going here for you, Virgo. Um, I'm going to make this a quick video for tonight because I'm actually recording this super, super late. So, okay. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the romance angels. Let's see what romance angels love messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay. You have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, um, maybe some of you connected with someone during the holidays and it was blissful and it was joyful and it was like honeymoon felt good. It was fun. Um, Honeymoons are generally short. They're not, they're short lived. So, um, and also for some of you, there could be a holiday plan coming up with somebody where it's like a get together and you two are going to have like to spend some time together. But we'll get more into that and see who the other person is. Okay. Let's see what else do you have? Okay. You are here with, wow, free yourself. Okay, it's time to take back control of your life. So Virgo, yeah, it looks to me like you are just freeing yourself to open yourself up, um, go on some dates, connect with another person, um, coming out of your cage, coming out of your shell, um, maybe taking a trip somewhere with some friends or family or a lover in the month coming up in January, okay? So, I don't know, I guess people go on trips, go places. If you're in the cold weather, going somewhere warm with someone, let me see, could be an actual honeymoon. You also have staying optimistic about your love life. I like how this is going, Virgo. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, Virgo. So it's like, don't get stuck in the dark. Virgo, I feel like for you, you're just freeing yourself and staying optimistic. You know that love will come in. You know you um, are a good person. You know that you are loving. You are strong. You don't take any ish from anybody. And um, yeah, so I feel like you're going to come out of like some kind of cage of some sort in January and free yourself to go and have a good time with someone. Let's take a look and see who this might be. Oh, wow. You have the Ace of Cups, Virgo. So there's a new potential love start happening here in in January for you. This is lovely. I love it. I love it. Let's see what else. Okay. Wow. Some kind of awakening happening here. Um, karma is definitely coming in. Like you're getting your good karma is what I feel with that card. Um, now, let's see. So, um, Virgo, I have to tell you, um, I feel like, okay, for some, this could be a fire sign for some of you, but I also feel like, um, so not necessarily a fire sign. It could be, um, it's judgment. So Mars ruled energy. So it could be Aries for fire sign. It could also be Scorpio for some of you. There could be a reconciliation, um, but there is this finding the one. That's what I feel like is going to happen. I don't normally agree with like, oh, the whole one thing, because I feel like we could have many soulmates and, in our lives. Um, and I feel like it will be a feeling of, oh, you'll meet somebody and then it's like, oh, well, this, this is weird because I thought the last person I was with was one. So now I feel like it's going to be, no, I think maybe this person is the one. <laughs> I don't know, Virgo, you're such a lover. You are such a lover. Okay. So this is like good karma coming to you, Virgo. This is beautiful. I feel like um, you're definitely, you have like a blessing of love coming in. All right. If we get a court card, that will definitely clear it up more. So there's justice here. This is like, again, with the karma, like, wow, Virgo, I feel like, <sighs> 
feel like this is totally favorable to you. This whole love opportunity coming in for you. Virgo, it feels like you're just freeing yourself up, staying optimistic will bring you love. That's what's happening here. Just a healing blessing. We have Libra and energy as well. All this major arcana. Okay. So there's three of swords. Wow. Okay. Virgo, it looks like in January also, um, there's a healing. There's some kind of maybe argument in a family family situation between family members or siblings or um, in a relationship, but I feel like things are going to be okay. I feel like things are going to come back, you know. Um, the Three of Swords, for some of you, um, you might have had a connection with someone who um, was married or had a family and you didn't know it or you found out about it and you ended that and you're freeing yourself up um, to have new love in your life. For others, it could, they could have been in another relationship with another person or there was like, I just heard you have a family member that was with your person, which is really rough. Um, and if that happened to you, I'm very sorry. But I do feel like um, for some of you, this is a divorce and you're freeing yourself to have a new beginning. You might have already had that divorce or you're gonna be going through it in January. Um, okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, somebody's coming in to help you. Somebody's definitely coming in to like save the day. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you need saving Virgo, but it I, I definitely feel like there's somebody coming in to um, kind of help carry, relieve some of your burden. Yeah, definitely relieve some of the burden. I don't know if that's like with physical work situation, your your emotional, your, your, your thought processes or help, you know, with your creativity. I just feel like you're at the end here of the struggle. You're exhausted. Somebody's coming in to help you with something in January, maybe help you move or help you carry something. Definitely. Okay. Eight of wands. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So Virgo, I'm also getting this message that somebody's coming in for, from a distance. So you might be connecting or meeting with someone who's long distance, or there's travel involved, a lot of travel. As soon as someone finishes this uh, task or uh, unburdens himself with some kind of load that they're carrying. Absolutely. I don't know if this is connected to the message that I'm giving you. This could be separate for some of you. Okay. Actually, I feel like it is. That's a separate part. But there's definitely a lot of like someone is physically crazy about you, physically attracted to you. Um, and they're coming in with all these like Cupid's arrows is going to hit. <laughs> and Virgo, you know, I also want to say you have, well, at least in January, you'll be experiencing a lot of attention. I feel like if it's not from one person, it's going to be from maybe seven or eight people. Um, and I feel like it's going to be kind of like overwhelming for you <laughs> where maybe you had a dry spell Virgo and then that dry spell is over and you free yourself up and you're like, I need to connect with someone and have a good time and I'm staying optimistic and all of a sudden the flood that, you know, the floodgates open. Um, I just feel like there's there's definitely an energy of attraction and receiving a lot of messages, maybe texts or phone calls from others asking you out or wanting to connect with you. You know, there's also, you know, it's Mercury retrograde. Okay, here's the first card, King of Swords. There could be a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who's going to be on you like crazy. Um but I feel like with this Mercury retrograde, there is a possibility that there's that a lot of the messages or the phone calls or all the information coming from someone and all the attraction from others. It's like, you know, people from your past coming out of the woodwork <clears throat> as well, which kind of might be like, uh, you know, a little bit of a burden for you. Like, no, not again. They always come back, don't they, Virgo? And you're just like, no, I can't do this. Like, thanks. Then avocado, thank you. Yeah, so you kind of go into hiding <laughs> a little bit. You're just like not responding to anyone. Um, people that are popping up from the past, it's like, no, I don't, f I feel like Virgo, you're not interested in, you know, it's done and what's done is done 
for a lot of you, okay? Um, and for some of you, because the Mercury retrograde is happening right now, um, you might be kind of like in hermit mode a little bit. Like the high priestess always makes, even though it's um, the counterpart to the hierophant, it always makes me feel like the feminine version of the hermit because of the quiet and secretiveness. I really feel like you might be kind of off the radar a little bit and there's someone or some people looking for you okay i just saw the star card which immediately gave me an image of a flashlight like a spotlight like somebody's looking for you virgo i really feel that way let me see who's looking for virgo like i said it could be a king of swords they you know they could that could be their sun moon rising or venus um this person comes across very like intentional self-sufficient honest someone who's very strategic looking for you you're in some you're being someone views you as being very mysterious during january like you're not saying nothing and being very that high priestess as well um being very intuitive um keeping your secrets being very mysterious and maybe even psychic okay all right here's the death card so what is this with the death card virgo oh and the moon yeah there's like someone wants to put an end to some kind of deception or lies i'm hearing um someone's ending their liar ways i'm hearing okay good for them mercury retrograde is a time of reevaluation, reflection renewal so a lot of people are going through that dark energy uh trying to like take a look at themselves that you know reflecting on the past reflecting on themselves you might be doing it too um you're putting an end to, also to deception i feel like a lot of you might be getting dreams that somebody has passed away or someone close to you has has um yeah has left this world um if you're not getting them now you might be getting them in january or you might get a dream about that. Um, okay, King of Wands, so Aries, again, Leo Sagittarius. Um, you could have someone that has passed away speaking to you in your dreams. They could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be, but it is someone who's very bold and strong and uh, very masculine as well. What is the message they're trying to tell you, Virgo? Okay, they're saying, go after what you want, Virgo. Go for it. Take charge. Take charge of your life, Virgo. And it looks like you're doing that in January. Like I said, you're freeing yourself. I feel like you've got someone coming to your dreams who's supporting you. Um, okay. You've got the Ace of Swords. Wow, um, Virgo, the message here is take a look at either, take a look at your surroundings. Um take a have a like a clear try to have clear vision crystal clear vision of your surroundings take a clear have a clear i feel like open up your mind virgo have a clear look at what's going at the lack that is around you because you may not you might be in denial or you might not be wanting to face that but i feel like once you can see i, I don't know i'm just feeling like a lot of clarity is coming to you about something going it could be finances as well but something going on in your life that is um has a tremendous amount of uncertainty i feel like clarity will bring realignment for you um <clears throat> hold on a second hold on a second um I feel okay so also I'm hearing take a clear hard look at your health also like try to see it for what it is um, and also um, are you isolating yourself yeah because you do have free yourself so you might have been isolating yourself and i feel like you the the ace of swords again like first the spotlight then a flashlight now a light bulb i'm seeing there's like a light bulb moment especially with that judgment card there's a light bulb moment happening for you 
in January. This feels like more of a spiritual message here where you really like, you look, you go to the mirror and you, you really see yourself for like the reality of who you are, not what tricks your mind plays on you. Okay. And, and it's like when you have that clarity of vision about where you are, who you are, um, what you are, then you can begin to make any improvements that you feel you might need to make in your life rather than, um, cause I feel like yesterday was a little bit of like gaslighting yourself and, and that's okay. Cause sometimes, you know, we all do that because we have this need to protect ourselves and it's a human thing. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a lot of different messages coming out here for you for January. So this is a little bit of a tarot buffet, I guess. <laughs> doesn't seem to be on a particular like storyline okay wow all right you're definitely going to get some communication from someone um they're in fight mode somebody's very curious um about you they're watching you there's someone either they're spying on you or they're watching you um they're looking to see if they have any competition if there's somebody else in your life okay um, this person is like seeking some kind of truth yeah I, I don't know I, I feel like somebody's looking to just see if, if you've got anybody else or if you okay or if you've committed to another person looking to see if like you've committed to somebody else or you're in a if you got married or you're in a relationship or long term committed thing okay that's really interesting. So just so you know, you have like um, private eyes. They're watching you. They see your every move. All right. Who can name the song? Who can name the song? You'll get a shout out if you can name the name of that song and the band. <laughs> should just do a little jukebox trivia here. Okay. So yeah, that definitely is going on here. Okay. So you also have the two of cups. Wow, you're gonna be connecting with someone very generous, someone who really wants to give and support um, this person. Uh, they just said this is a necessary transition for this person. Um, there's relocation connected to them as well. Um, you might meet, this person might be coming from far away, travel like distance, six of swords there, um, or they might move to your area, you might move to theirs. Um, I feel like, um, this person, there's a lot of like exchange, maybe you're going to be like exchanging numbers or, um, getting together in January with maybe some kids, there might be some children or grandchildren involved, but I, I don't feel like you're going to get together with someone, but I do feel like you're going to meet them somewhere where they're, they're, I don't know, they're giving some money somewhere dropping some coins in your coin slot Virgo <laughs> I'm a 10 year old I know okay so that's definitely going to be happening here you got a lot of stuff going on here pick and choose I wish I could have chapters in my reading so you guys can just go back okay you know the eight of swords yeah you're coming out of restriction two eights eight of swords and eight of cups yeah you're definitely coming out of this self-imposed prisoner position that you have been in and I feel like you're going after your ninth cup which is like the wish card you know you're you're chasing your dreams chasing your visions here you know um Virgo I really feel like you're coming out of your shell and that is beginning to show in and throughout the rest of the month of January um I feel like you're not really looking back to the past or people showing up our people are beginning to see you in a new light during this retrograde. But I also feel like you're going to be connecting with someone as well. Now, it could very well begin as like, like love is coming here. This is what I mean. Like the Ace of Cups is not like a person coming in to give you love. This is an energy of like, you see, you know, all these signs everywhere that, you know, love, you can feel the love energy, you can feel it coming towards you. Um, it's just a matter of when this is like a gift, like a blessing of love coming in for you. And uh, there is definitely going to be a connection made. 
Beautiful. But yeah, you're, you're getting out of some kind of melancholy position, that five of cups. Again, with the five, you know, you're coming out of uncertainty, you're making change, coming into freedom, you have free yourself and freeing yourself from your grief, freeing yourself from any loss, regrets, uh, a feeling of ab abandonment or feeling unloved. You're, you're like, N no, that, that's actually not true. Um, I haven't abandoned myself. I still love myself. So, you know, it's like you get your hope back. And I love this. Okay. I love this. Okay. Here's the emperor showing up. Okay. So either you are bossing up, you're in like boss mode, or you've got somebody showing up here as well. Could be a father. Uh, all right. There's somebody making a decision. Hmm. Okay. So I will tell you there's somebody right now contemplating about an, um, an employment position. Okay. Either working with you or you working with them or for vice versa working for vice versa okay so i do feel like someone is it's down to you and another person definitely and i feel like um, the decision is being made in january oh it looks positive for you that you're going to get it yes yeah, so some kind of work employment kind of thing um whatever it has to do with it could even be a loan it could be anything that has to do with um waiting for a yes or um or waiting for someone to make a decision in regard to um a career path <clears throat> excuse me career path so it looks like a yes it looks like a positive for you if that's something that you're waiting for i feel like that's going to come in for sure okay wow now you have the ace of wands okay Wow. Okay. A lot of you have healed and are growing from a very abusive connection or relationship, whether that was a romantic or a family relationship or friends or coworkers, whichever. Um, I feel like you're going to start seeing growth from and change a new absolute like getting your inspiration back if you've been in that five of swords energy again with the five if you've been in a very uncertain situation you're realigning you might have been connecting with someone who's very inconsistent um the, the five of swords can be sometimes a card of someone who is just they want to win and they don't care who they ha like they climb up the they want to win. They don't care whose toes they have to step on to get there. So whatever that might have meant, I feel like a lot of you are, you know, definitely healing from that. There's a new start. And look, now you've got the world and that's how we're going to end it. And it's with the new year. The new year with the world is completing that year, the final year last year, completing a goal or lesson um, and having this new beginning and a new chapter. So I, you know, Virgo, talk about a positive reading i mean the last few readings were like Ugh. but this is amazing i mean you as you go through this retrograde what i really feel like for you that you are learning at this time is how to let go you're you know that's the lesson for you you know when we go into mercury retrograde this is like it's not just about all of our electronics breaking down or we're losing our keys or crazy things like that. This is also a time and a period of self-reflection. And I feel like for you, the message is the, the lesson here is you letting go and moving forward in your, in your life and also trusting your intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. You just have to trust the answer. Okay. And for a lot of you, detach with love to clearly see the truth, right? This doesn't mean you have to detach with love for another person to clearly see the truth. Some of you just need to detach with love for self to clearly see the truth, right? Because you might have been in denial. And I feel like this retrograde is really going to bring up a lot of a lot of obsessive behavior. Um, you might have been like terribly gripped by obsessive thoughts um in the past or somebody else was or someone actually this is not past this is obsession someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts it could be you or another person but you know what i feel like somebody is waiting uh they're waiting and they're spying and they're watching somebody's really addicted to you here okay well whatever virgo it looks to me like you're um whoever this person was in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson so that spiritual lesson I feel like is more to do with um, detachment, learning the spiritual um, form of detachment. All right, Virgo. 
uh, I think I'm just going to end that there. That was short and sweet, and I'm going to leave that there for you so I can get it uploaded in time for you. And, um, yeah, I'll try to be back here tomorrow um, if I'm not too, too busy. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Don't forget to smash that subscribe and like button. And do follow me over on Facebook um, Instagram, Twitter. Actually, I'm just mostly active on Facebook. So if you're on there, come over and say hi. I would love to chit chat with you. And uh, yeah, personal reading links, remember, in the description box below. And I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye. <laughs>